Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today we're going to look at some hunting adventures we had here on the Ridge. It is late fall here in West Tennessee, and that means whitetail deer hunting, and we're ready to fill our freezer. More often than not, when you're out deer hunting, you don't get to see very many deer. A lot of times you just get to hear them squirrels running around making you think they're deer. Um, but it is still fun to be out in the woods, uh, enjoying God's creation, seeing nature for all it is. But when them deer come out, boy, it sure is exciting. We got two hunts for you today. Uh, one is uh, from the west side of our food plot, and the other one's from the east side, more off into the woods. You know, you have to hunt as the wind blows. So uh, the first hunt, we get to see a, a doe come out, and we'll let you see what happens there. And the next hunt, you get to see a buck. In addition to two hunts, we're gonna show you how to skin a deer with a baseball. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was a nice doe we saw come out into the food plot there. We didn't take it, we let that one walk, but as you can see in this next one, this next buck's not so lucky. Nice little buck. Not the big one I missed earlier this year, but I'll take it. We need meat in the freezer. Yeah. Just before dark, had a nice little buck come out and uh, got a good shot with the 308. Uh, using my son's 308 this time instead of my 30 out six. Had a terrible time with the 30 out six. I missed two deer with it and uh took it back and did target practice and it was fine but uh this was more of a mental thing switched over to the 308 and uh let's go out and see if we can see a blood trail and get, find this deer so we're out in the food plot here and uh about probably 50 yards from the tree stand and uh come down to the ground here lots of fur that's a deer fur. So let's see if we can find a blood trail. All right, we see our first blood trail. A little bit of spot right here. And we'll keep on going. We've got a big old blotch of it right here on the leaf. So I heard it go into the woods and crash. Let's follow, follow this blood trail out into the woods over there. All right, we've traced a blood trail across the field, um, about 40 yards off into the woods here. Let's, tr let's see if we can track this blood trail off into the woods and see if we can find our buck. All right, here we go, just straight off in the woods. I heard it crash before it got too far off in here. All right, I see some eyes glowing. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go, there's some eyes glowing. Ah, a little buck. Little buck, let's see. Yep, he's there. All right, let's check him out here. Oh, yeah, he's a little buck. He's gonna definitely be good for the freezer, though. Um, we have uh, missed our opportunity earlier in the season, and uh, we definitely don't want to miss the opportunity for meeting the freezer before season is out. So let's uh, let's get this guy processed. Grab a hold of that one here and start tugging him out. get him field dressed out here by the pond 
Then we're going to hang him up in, a, in the skinning tree. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to get out here, skin him, quarter him up, and get him on ice to do some wet aging. Now that we got the deer field dressed, we need to get it hung up in this tree so it can cool overnight. Again, we'll come out here tomorrow and take care of the rest of it. Look at how nasty that tarsal gland is. The deer, the buck will pee on that gland and it just emanates the worst buck uh, essence. Oh, it's terrible. But man, they sure use it for the rut. I'm gonna have to get this deer much higher than this because coyote will come out here in the middle of the night and they will take my deer. So I, I need to get his head up about this high. So I'm gonna get him far up as I can get him. Got him strung up as high as we can get him. We're gonna let him sit out here and drain and cool overnight. We are sure thankful for that buck coming out. I know it was a small one, but he was a little bit odd in his growth. We've got a gene out there on the ridge uh, where some of our bucks have a lot smaller growth on the left side than they do the right side. So when we see those, we like to take those out, even if it's a little early. Um, we've got some big ones out there that are really typical too, and we're really trying to let those grow. Welcome back. We've had our buck hanging overnight. It was in the 30s and uh, it's getting up around 40, 45 right now. So we need to hurry up and get this thing skinned and quartered out and put on ice. Well, we said earlier, we we're gonna show you how to skin a deer with a baseball and here it is. We're gonna try a new way to skin this buck. Now I can use my knife and just continue to pull, pull, pull till I get it all the way off. Or since I've got it clear of the legs, I'm gonna wrap this baseball around the hide, get my winch cable, wrap it around the baseball and just pull this skin right off. You can do the same thing with a, a rope and a four by four, a tractor, side by side, whatever. Um, let's give it a go. I've got the baseball under the hide. I've got the winch cable secured around the baseball. Now it should just pull the skin right off. Well, there you go. Pulled it all the way down to the neck. It's right where we wanted it. Now skinning a deer with a baseball and a side-by-side -side is not something I typically do, but it sure saves a lot of uh, energy uh, peeling that skin off by hand, I'll tell you that. We've got our butt quartered up on ice. We're going to wet age this for about two and a half weeks. We need to get the head sent out for chronic wasting disease testing. Once they let us know it is positive or negative, hopefully negative, we'll be able to finish processing up our wet aged deer, get it in the freezer. Hope you enjoyed those two hunts here on the ridge and watching us skin that deer with the baseball. Uh, we'll have some more hunts coming up very soon here on Ridge Life. So if you haven't subscribed to us already, please do so now. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out on Ridge Life. So until next time, hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life.